All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. I'm Until Brush. And today we're going to be watching The Shawshank Redemption. Um, so, this is a very serious movie. I have not seen this movie. You have not seen this movie. No. We just watched, we've kind of been on like a really serious, you know, existential crises movie run. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> we Green Mile, we got Google Hunting, we got this movie. So you guys voted for this on Patreon. Um, we do polls every week or, or every two weeks um on classic movies to vote for so obviously check that out if you want i don't really know anything about this movie i think morgan freeman's in it beyond that i don't know okay. it's like one of those classic movies that you're supposed to watch and i haven't watched yet so i'm interested i'm intrigued 94 is when it came out um and yeah i, I kind of want to just get into it obviously like i said if you guys want to vote we're doing classic movie polls every week and you guys decide what we watch um I'd like to watch like The Godfather or something next time. Just throwing that up there. Um, but obviously the full-length reactions of this movie as well as next week's reaction, which is going to be this movie that you guys decided and voted on, those are all going to be up on Patreon as well. So if you guys want to go check that out, you know, it is pretty reasonable. Um, and, and anything you can kind of give really does help us keep doing what we're doing. But either way, thanks for watching. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for supporting us on YouTube or Patreon. All you guys. You guys are awesome. Thanks for joining us. And let's just get into this one. Yeah, this night's not in a good place. This is not going to go well. Whatever this is. Yeah, what is happening there? Uh oh, great. Okay. Here we go. That's not a good mix. Nope. To frame, describe the confrontation you had with your wife the night that she was murdered. I'll see you in hell before I see you in Reno. Those were the words you used, Mr. Dufresne, according to the testimony of your neighbors. That's such a cool way of opening it, and then you see the contrast of him, like, in court, kind of facing what he is actually facing now. Later, I drove to his house to confront them. They weren't home, so I parked in the turnout and waited. With what intention? I'm not sure. When they arrived, you went up to the house and murdered them. No. I was sobering up. I got back in the car and I drove home to sleep it off. Finds your wife in bed with her lover riddled with 38 caliber bullets. Wait, what? How does that strike you as a fantastic coincidence? The police dragged that river for three days and nary a gun was found. So there could be no comparison made between your gun and the bullets taken from the blood-stained corpses of Interesting. So is that true? It does sound really convenient, but it does. But I'm assuming, for the story's sake, yeah, no, at the same time, this is a movie, so I'm probably gonna guess that he's innocent. Yeah. I hereby order you to serve two life sentences back to back. Jeez. One for each of your victims. Well, I mean, it's tough. Yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously, a, the evidence seems yeah. to be pointing to him. But this is what I was saying is like if they needed the gun from the river in order to figure out whether the round the rounds would match his gun, mm -hmm. they said that there are bullets on the floor with his fingerprints on it, right? So that either means that he dropped some of his rounds, like his real rounds, and they mm -hmm. should be able to compare the rounds. No, right? I think the rounds were the same. And so because oh, the rounds oh, were the okay, same okay. from a thirty eight caliber, the only thing that would maybe hint at in innocence is if there was another gun in the river. Jeez. How long has he been in here? Yes, sir. I'm a regular Sears and Roebuck. So when Andrew Dufresne came to me in 1949 and asked me to smuggle Rita Hayworth into the prison for him, I told him, no problem. Wait, what? Is this a real prison? Because this thing is huge. It's gotta be something. It's gotta right? be. Look at this. That's really cool. That's awesome. That's a cool shot. That's a great shot. With the flag and everything. And this is probably, like, this is before drones a little bit, too, so this is probably a helicopter. I love how they're, like, celebrating new inmates. 
Now, I wonder, do you think this is, like, specifically for people who have, like, life sentences? Oh, uh, I don't... I'm not sure. I don't think so. Or not that, but, like, I get the impression that a lot of these people have really long sentences. I've seen such a sorry-looking heap of maggot shit in all my life. He probably says that every time people, like. <laughs> It's his tagline. <laughs> chubby fat ass there, the fifth one from the front. Put me down for quarter deck. That's a rich bet. Alright, who's gonna prove me wrong? Hey, what? what are they betting on exactly? Yeah, change them out of their other yep. clothes and stuff. Yep, make sure they don't try and smuggle anything in. It's Mr. Hadley, he's captain of the guards. I'm Mr. Norton, the warden. You are convicted felons. No blasphemy. I'll not have the Lord's name taken in vain in my prison. The other rules, huh. you'll figure out as you go along. That's kind of interesting. And you piss when we say you piss. Got that you maggot dick motherfucker. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know what to think of the warden yet. I don't really trust him though, to be honest. No, I don't. The first night's the toughest. No doubt about it. They march you in naked as the day you were born. Skin burning and half blind from that delousing shit they throw on you. Nothing left but all the time in the world to think about it. <laughs> That's a cool line. Most madness the first night. The only question is, who's it going to be? It's as good a thing to bet on as any, I guess. Oh, so that's what they're betting on. I have my money on Andrew Dufresne. I'm pretty sure that's, like, really accurate, that first part, just because I've seen it, like, several times. Oh, what, like, the way they get loused and cleaned and stuff? No, yeah, and, like, the way they, they march them in, like, without their clothes and stuff, and they have to hold them. I wonder if there's, like, a psychological element to it probably where it's like a power thing like okay you're gonna walk in now like embarrassed and like it's it kind of feels like that same thing with like you know like the military well, it almost feels like they're establishing stuff. power yeah kind of. the boys always go fishing with first timers and they don't quit till they reel someone in i'll introduce you around make you feel right at home i know a couple of big old bull queers that just love to make your acquaintance First be that big white mushy bloody you. And it's fat ass by a nose. So messed up, man. I ain't supposed to be here. Not me. I ain't gonna count to three. I'm not even gonna count to one. You will shut the fuck up or I'll sing you a lullaby. Oh no. You know what I'm I mean, it's interesting because, yeah, because like he like was whatever taking the name the name of the Lord in yeah. or whatever. So it maybe, feels like he's just doing his own thing, honestly. Possibly. If I hear so much as a mouse fart in here the rest of the night, I swear by God and Sunny Jesus, you will all visit the infirmary. Ew. Oh, I get it. The heck? Are, are you going to eat that? Oh, the frick. We probably could have just gotten in there somehow. Yeah. I was thinking like... Yeah. Big says thank you. Fell out of his nest over by the play job. Come on, set him down. I want all lined up. It's just like a, a pretty little chorus. Like <laughs> yeah, he wants... Yep. Yeah. I have a terrible shame about your horse coming in last and all. I sure do love that winning horse of mine, though. I believe I owe that boy a great big sloppy kiss when I see him. How's that horse of mine doing anyway? Dude, Hadley busted his head up pretty good. Wait, what? I've already gone home for the night. Don't bear to believe that to this moment. Jeez. What was his name? Fucking matter what his name was, he's dead. Yeah, but because of you guys, partly. Gets you, you know. Hey, we all need friends in here. I could be a friend to you. Hey. 
He does need some friends, honestly. Yeah, you. I feel like you, can, you know you can't really do. Well, I mean, maybe you can do it all by yourself. Who knows? But I feel like you need at least some some backup. As it turned out, that somebody was me. <laughs> and he's gonna be in here for life anyway. Might as well make friends. Why'd you do it? I didn't, since you asked. <laughs> you can fit right here. <laughs> Rumor has it you're a real cold fish. In fact, your shit smells sweeter than most. Is that right? What do you think? I'll tell you the truth. I made up my mind. <laughs> I wonder if you might get me a rock hammer. A what? A rock hammer. What is it and why? What do you care? <laughs> this is a non-lethal object, isn't it? Yeah, a rock hammer. <laughs> yeah, it's a little rock dip. rock hammer is about six or seven inches long. Looks like a miniature pickaxe. pickaxe. Or maybe you'd like to sink your toe into somebody's skull. No, sir. No, I have no enemy to you. No? Well, you're gonna have them. Wait a while. I don't suppose it would help any if I explained to them I'm not homosexual. Neither are they. They have to be human first. They don't qualify. Then I guess you want to escape. Tile along the wall, maybe. <laughs> I missed something here. What's funny? You understand when you say the rock <laughs> I could see why some of the boys took him for snobby. He had a cornered way about him. A walk and a talk that just wasn't normal around here. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. He does, like, I'm actually worried for him because I feel like somebody's gonna, like, try and do something because he seems so innocent and, and unprepared almost. Take a man about 600 <laughs> years to tunnel under the wall with one of these. It's not a bad weapon, though, honestly. Look. Watch out, dude. I freaking knew it, dude. Oh, yeah. I knew it. I knew it. Get this in your eyes and blind you. Oh, no. You fight, better not me. Come on, dude. Every so often, Andy would show up with fresh bruises. The sisters kept at him. Jeez. That's how it went for Andy. I feel like, see, I feel like that's why he's got to make friends. Yeah. Because if he has people who won't, like, isolate him. And I also believe if things are going... Wallace E. Unger. Ellis. Yeah, let's see. Once again, that's what I'm saying, yeah. dude. Like, he's got the power. Yeah. On the cross, that's a pack of smokes per man. I made my usual 20% of course. This big shot lawyer calls me long distance. 35,000. That's what he left me. Dollars? Yep. Holy shit, that's great. That's like. Yeah, that's not bad either, dude. Take a big wet bite out of my ass is what. Poor Baron. Terrible. Dude, 35,000 in 1940? Yeah. Are you kidding me? I don't care if they tax it like crazy. Oh, what? yeah, yeah. Maybe enough to buy a new car, and then what? I gotta pay tax on the car. <laughs> Repair, maintenance, goddamn kids pester me to take them for a ride all the time. Some brother. Oh no. Hey! You're gonna look funny and suck in my dick with no teeth. What I mean is, do you think she'd go behind your back and try to hamstring you? That's it. Step aside, Mert. This fucker's having himself an accident. You don't push him off the roof. Because if you do trust her, there's no reason you can't keep that 35,000. 35,000? All of it. All of it? Every penny. Wait, what? Yeah. If you want to keep all that money, give it to your wife. Be that smart banker would kill his wife, aren't you? Why should I believe a smart banker like you? So I can end up in here with you. It's perfectly legal. Go ask the IRS. They'll say the same thing. I suppose I could set it up for you. That would save you some money. Oh, dang. Get the forms. I'll prepare them for you. Nearly free of charge. Three beers apiece for each of my co-workers. <laughs> dang. What are you, Jimmy, staring at? Back to work. And that's how it came to pass. That on the second That's a smart move on his part. 
The convict crew that tarred the plate factory roof in the spring of 49 wound up sitting in a row at 10 o'clock in the morning. Drinking. Drink up while it's cold, ladies. The colossal prick even managed to sound magnanimous. <laughs> As for Andy, he spent that break hunting in the shade. A strange little smile on his face. <laughs> Watching us drink his beer. I think he did it just to feel normal again. If only for a short while. I think a little bit of everything, honestly. Yeah. But it is cool because yeah, it is kind of like feeling normal. Like back to his yeah. kind of work. Yeah, even his work. Yeah. I'm innocent, right? Just like everybody else here. I feel bad because I actually think he is. Wait, what? How the heck is he gonna do that? And you can scream. Good luck. Oh, dude. <laughs> See, it's like. Him to a okay, so that's weird. Like. To my knowledge, he lived out the rest of his day. Right, because it's like he was doing all this wrong stuff, and the guards knew he was doing all this wrong stuff. But at the same time, they didn't necessarily catch him, and that wasn't right either. Like, it's this weird. It's just like. It's such a dog eat dog world. It's like. Well, I, I don't think you can judge anyone. No, it's, it's really like, hard it's like, to. And by the weekend, it was due back. Had enough rock saved up to keep him busy till right. Where do you hide that though? Because there's no way they're not gonna big shipment in that week. confiscate Cigarettes. rocks. Like it's a gum, straight weapon. Sipping whiskey. Rita Hayworth herself. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna say. Yeah, there's like... no way it was gonna be real. Is he going to like um like carve? Possibly, because I think obviously, like the assumption would be something worse, but he doesn't seem like that kind of person. Well, this is the thing: is like he has a lot of images, right? And he asked for the stones. Yeah. So he's looking for, you know, reference or something. Possibly. Possibly. Do you have a plan, dude? Like, he's... now he's been good to the guard. He's been good to the guard. But I don't think the warden, like, um... Pleased to see you reading this. Any favorite passages? Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house. But I prefer, I'm the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. But Are we having a Bible passage battle right now? I will explain this. It's called a rock blanket. Shaping and polishing rocks. A little hobby of mine. <laughs> Can't say I approve of this. But I suppose exceptions can be made. For what? You enjoy working in the laundry? No, sir, not especially. Well, perhaps we can find something more befitting a man of your education. <sighs> Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, Jake, where's Rooks? Andy, and I thought I heard you out here. Ain't that a kick in the head? Well, I'm giving the dime tour. I wonder how long this guy's uh, been in here. 
Yeah, probably for a long, for a long, long time. time, right? Brooks, how long have you been a librarian? Oh, I come here on Aunt Five, and then maybe librarian in 1912. Holy! And all that time, have you ever had an assistant? No, 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 not much to it, really. I was uh, thinking about maybe setting up some kind of trust fund for my kids' educations. Why don't we have a seat and talk it over? I mean, dude. Once again, it's like it's like make yourself uh, indispensable. It's yeah. just like red. Even the captain, for how hard he is, right, was willing to repay. Yeah, that's true. Right, <laughs> making a few friends. All right, I wouldn't say friends. How about expanding the library? Get some new books in there. Gonna ask for something. Ask for pool table. <laughs> right. How do you expect to do that? Perhaps I can write the state senate and request funds directly from them. As far as they're concerned, only three ways to spend the taxpayers' hard-earned when it comes to prisons. More walls, more bars, and more guns. No, I'd, I'd like to try with your permission. I'll write a letter a week. Yeah, it's worth a try. Because it is just yeah. books. So Andy started writing a letter a week. It's not unreasonable. Just like you said. I mean... Warden's right, though. Like, you know how... <laughs> Dude, he's like a, a full-on accountant for these people. The following April, Andy did tax returns for half the guards. Holy! Shopping. Yes, sir. Andy was a regular cottage industry. You better be getting fact, tons so of cigarettes or something for this. But well, he's building like this reputation he's, and this. It's like, crazy. He's building like a full business. What the? Does he have like dementia or something? Do they only want to do this? Wait, what the hell is this? Yeah, yeah, what about me? Crazy old fool, goddamn you, cut my throat. Oh shit, what you heard worse from Shaver. And you heard his parole come through. Oh, it's like this is like the only. No, he yeah, he wants to stay. So he that's well, why he's he been here so long. This is all he has. This is more of his life than actual life. Yeah. My ass. The man's been in here fifty years, Hayward. Fifty years. This is all he knows. Yeah. In here, he's an important man. Enough time passes. You get so you depend on. Him. Yeah. That's institution. Well, I mean, it's it's terrible, but it's like. That's also the amazing thing about humans is they are adaptable. And so yeah. weirdly enough, you adapt to this thing. And especially if you can find some form of humanity in it, then you don't want to leave. This is all you know. It also is not, it might not just be, you know, liking the inside of the walls, but also like a fear of the outside, you know? Like well, it's, it's. Dear fellas. I can't believe how fast things move on the outside. <laughs> oh, come on. You're just a jerk. <laughs> it's a poor old guy trying to cross the road. Once oh, when I was a kid, but the parole board got me into this halfway house called the Brewer. And a job bagging groceries at the food way. At least they did that. It's hard work. Bad dreams like I'm falling. I wake up scared sometimes it takes me a while to remember where i am i don't like it here i'm tired of being afraid all the time i've decided not to stay no i doubt they'll kick up any fuss not for an old crook like me Would have been better if he did rob the place, honestly. He should have died in here. Wait, they got new books. I'll tell you that. In response to your repeated inquiries, the state has allocated the enclosed funds to your library project. This is two hundred dollars. Dang. We trust this will fill your needs. We now consider the matter closed. 
Please stop sending us letters. <laughs> I want all this cleared up before the warden gets. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, it took six years. Jeez. But now I don't write too. Perseverance you got. Six got years. I mean, <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> oh no! Is he gonna get in trouble for this? Oh no! He's gonna get in such trouble for this. Andy? I have no idea to this day what those two Italian ladies were singing about. The truth is, I don't want to know. That's crazy. You guys could have just kicked the door open. <laughs> Got two weeks in the hole for that little stunt. Nice. On your feet. Couldn't play something good, huh? Hank Williams or something. Can you break the door down before I can take requests? Sit here. In here. That's the beauty of music, Vic. Can't get that for you. Haven't you ever felt that way about music? <laughs> no. Mine it does, young man. Forget the. There are places in the world that aren't made out of stone, that there's a hope. It's a dangerous thing. Hope can drive a man insane. It's got no use on the other side. You better get used to that idea. Yeah. Yeah, right, because that's what ended him, is that he lost hope. Exactly. And while hope, while hope may keep you alive, or lack of hope keeps you alive on the inside... Maybe it robs you of a little bit of your humanity. I can honestly say I'm a changed man. No danger to society here. God's honest truth. I mean, see, he, because he has, he has definitely lost hope, right? Of course. But at the same time, maybe that's why he survives in here. And oh my lord, how the money rolled in. Keeps up, you're gonna put me out of business. Yeah. Just pull a slave labor and you got you can underbid any contractor in town. Yeah, I mean that's that is true. Just have some of this fine time and this is made especially for you. You think about that. Huh. You'll be sure and thank Nazi for this fine five. And behind every shady deal, behind every dollar earned. That was Andy. Yep. Keeping the books. Dude, he better be getting some serious uh, credit for this. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just rampant hypocrisy. You got scams you haven't dreamed of. Kickbacks on his kickbacks. It's a river of dirty money running through this place. A channel, filter, funnel up. Stock securities, tax free municipals. Yes, yeah, so you're like helping him launder all this illegal money, essentially. No, really, I put you on a little more faith in me than that. I know you're good, Andy, but all that paper leaves a trail. Now, anybody gets curious. FBI, IRS, whatever. Randall Stevens. Who? The silent, silent partner. He's the guilty one, Your Honor. The man with the bank accounts. Second cousin to Harvey the Rent. I conjured him. He doesn't exist. That's pretty smart. Andy, you can't just make a person up. Did I say you were good? Shit, you were Rembrandt. You know, the funny thing is, on the outside, I was an honest man, straight as an arrow. I run the scams, right? I just process the profits. Fine line. Yeah, I mean, you're still. Also built that library. Part of it. Tommy Williams came to Shawshank in 1965. Those were some sideburns, I'll tell you that. That's breaking and entering to you. We liked him immediately. So I'm backing out the door, right? <laughs> it looks like an Elvis like lookalike. <laughs> I see. I see. 
sir. I sure did. But if I drop this fucking thing, you got me on destruction of property. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been in and out since I was 13. You name the place. Chances are I've been here. Perhaps hey. it's time you tried to get profession. Everybody's innocent in here. Don't you know that? <laughs> Just <laughs> <laughs> thinking maybe Sorry for my high school equivalency here You helped a couple fellas with that I don't waste time with losers, Tommy I ain't no goddamn loser Yes, sir, I do Good Because if we do this, we do it all the way 100% Nothing half-assed So Andy took Tommy under his wing like he's actually like changing these people's lives and That's stuff. Crazy. This is Thomas insane. Pretty well too. He really liked the kid. Gave him a thrill to help a youngster crawl off the shitty. Credit to the actor that too for like to you reason. can you you feel the age reason even though it's the same actor. Time. Yeah. It was the same reason he spent years shaping and polishing those rocks. The same reason he hung his fantasy girls on the wall. In prison. A man will do most anything to keep his mind occupied. Well? Well, it's for shit. Wasted a little fucking year of my time with this bullshit. It's probably not as bad as you think. I'm down. Two points right there. There's a goddamn score. Goddamn cats crawling up trees. Five times five is 25. Fuck this place! Fuck it! Feel bad. Let him down. Oh, that's crap, baby. He's proud of you. You've been friends a long time, so I know him as good as anybody. About six months left to go. Get a new cellmate in. Elmo Blatch. Big twitchy fucker. Kind of roomy. Praise Wait, does he know the guy who actually did it? People he killed. People. You're right. I think. No way. No freaking way! So, I got me this job one time, busting tables at a country club. So I could case all these big, rich pricks that come in. So I pick out this guy. He gives me shit. So I kill him. Him and this tasty bitch he was with. <laughs> it was the best part. Some hotshot banker. <laughs> and he's the one they did it on. Wait, what? I mean, that makes sense too because remember he said he went to their house and they weren't there, but then they never came to his house either. Say this, well, let's say for the moment this Blatch does exist. You think he just fall to his knees and cry? Yes, I did it, I confess. Oh, and by the way, I have a life term to myself. It's worth a try. Yeah, it wouldn't matter with Tommy's testimony. No, I don't think the, the warden wants that, regardless. Chances. What did you call me? Tommy. Is it deliberate? It's not you are forgetting yourself. The, the country club will have his old time cards. Records, W-2s with his name. My friend, if you want to indulge this fantasy, that's your business. Don't make it mine. Imagine what goes on in here. I'd be just as indictable as you for laundering that money. Oh, shoot, dude. Don't you ever mention money to me again, you sorry son of a bitch. A month and a whole. It's the longest damn stretch I ever heard of. It's all my fault. Oh, bullshit. Now, see, the woman doesn't want him to get out. No, he doesn't. He just wants to use it. Yeah. Board of Education. So, you just mailed like you did. You're gonna open it? You're gonna stand there with your thumb up your butt. Thumb up my butt sounds better. Come on, we throw that away, please. No. Come on, dude. dude. At least open it. The kid passed. C plus average. Thought you'd like to know. Right here? That's what the man said. Oh, no. This could either be really good or really bad, and I don't know which. Tell me. I'm asking you to keep this conversation just between us. Feel awkward enough as it is. He doesn't want him to... He's gonna bribe him. Yeah, like he doesn't want him to say anything more about the... Yeah, about the story. Or yeah. lie about it or say he made it yeah. up, something like that. 
So I just done this thing really came along and knocked my wind out. It's got me up nights. That's the truth. Right, you're already filthy rich, bro. Let him go free. The right thing to do. If I'm gonna move on this, there can't be the least little shred of doubt. I have to know if what you told to frame was the truth. Having placed your hand on the good book and taken an oath before Almighty God himself. Just give me that chance. I don't trust him. He's gonna shoot him. He's dead. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Man that young, less than a year ago, trying to escape. Broke Captain Madley's heart to shoot. Screw him. you. Truly it did. What happens with a little book barbecue in the yard? You'll see the flames for one miles. We'll dance around it like wild engines. You understand? Okay, this dude is just like a horrible. Like I can't believe I was even like, oh maybe he is no, no. No. Give him another month to think about it. Are you serious? I either way I think it's like the idea of hope that we talked about, right? And I think that has just been crushed for him. No, oh, yeah. I just didn't know how to show it, that's all. I killed her, Red. I didn't pull the trigger. I drove her away. And that's why she died because of me. I don't make you a murderer. And she still made those choices. Yeah. Bad husband, maybe. Yeah. And because he made himself indispensable, even if he has a chance, there's no way he's ever getting it. Yeah. One day when I got a long white beard and you don't know that though yeah but it's so it's understandable like of course you would worry most of, my life. No, of course Outside, all you need is the elevators. God, I wouldn't even know where to begin. That hotel, that book. I don't think that's too much to ask. I don't think you ought to be doing this to yourself, Andy. This is a shitty pipe dream. Promise me, Red. If you ever get out, find that spot. Yeah, you guys gotta be careful, man. He's gonna do something stupid. I'm gonna keep an eye on him. Yeah. Let's find her in the day. He asked me for a length of rope. Oh, no. Rope. No. Six feet long. And you gave it to him. Come on, man. I don't know. Every man has his breaking point. Yeah. You know what's interesting is that he still polished his shoes. Yeah. What is he going to do? Alone in the dark with nothing but your thoughts, time can draw out like a blade. What happened? Come on! Could he have, like, got out? I don't know. Oh, did he re Oh, that's why. He got out. Did he? Maybe. Broken 237! 
Sorry. Was he secretly working on it? Because it would have. They said he would have taken a long time with that. What do you mean? Uh, I can see that. Hey. How did he get out? Maybe with the yeah, the maybe camera with and little... he's been slowly working at it or something for like twenty years. Stands to reason, he'll still be here in the morning. What would he need a rope for? To get to down or something. And so he, and I think you might be right. I think you reported him too. This damn conspiracy, and everyone's in on it. Yeah, you're totally right, dude. Dude! Holy... How did no one hear him? That's insane! Well, I mean, heck, when he was scratching the walls with the name, you know, it wasn't making it, any sense. It was sound. true. All they found of him was a muddy set of prison clothes, a bar of soap, and an old rock hammer. Damn near worn down to the nub. <laughs> oh, Andy loved geology. I imagine it appealed to his meticulous nature. An ice age here. Many years of mountain building there. Turns out, Andy's favorite hobby was toting his wall out into the exercise yard. A handful at a time. Andy decided he'd been here. A little like the Great Escape, I mean. We should split. Want to get home? Oh, nice. That's why he took the shoes, too. Buff those shoes to a high mirror shine. <laughs> How often do you really look at a man's shoes? That's true. Is that possible? Possibly. I don't know who. Oh, my gosh. Where is this? See, the fact that he had a spare thing of clothes is what was genius, because he's still in the prison, though, isn't he? Yeah. He's just so lucky there was a thunder... Oh! Or maybe that's just what he was waiting for. Yeah, he was probably just waiting for it. And to crawl to freedom through 500 yards of shit-smelling fire. Honestly, it's probably not as bad as staying in the prison for... Yards. That's as true. As long as he stayed. Yeah. Just shy of half a mile. Dang. Dang. Holy, that's insane. Crazy. Now, why did he switch the books? Either to take proof with him, right? The next morning, he didn't exist, except on paper. May I help you? Oh, he had all the proper ID. That's why. Mr. Stevens visited nearly a dozen banks in the Portland area that morning. All told, he blew town with better than three hundred and seventy thousand dollars of Lord Norton. Cow. Severance pay. Or that, yeah. Or just expose him, right? Because then he, how, what is he supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's true. Oh, dang, is he gonna shoot? Is he gonna He's try gonna to do hit it to himself, I think. But why is he loading six? Oh, that's true. Really? He's gonna try to get some of them. I like to think the last thing that went through his head, other than that bullet, was to wonder how the hell Andy Dufresne ever got the best of him. It was blank, but the postmark said, Fort Hancock, Texas. When I picture him heading south in his own car with the top down, it always makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Who crawled through a river of shit and came out clean on the other side. <laughs> and a Dufresne. Dang. I have to remind myself that some birds aren't meant to be caged. Their feathers are just too bright. 
And he still told him about under that tree, right? Yeah. Not because I'm in here, because you think I should. I look back on the way I was then. A young, stupid kid who committed that terrible crime. That kid's long gone. And this old man is all that's left. I gotta live with that. <laughs> but he's like, it was like he was actually being genuine. Yeah. It's it's like paralleling the other guy. Brooks? Yeah. But slightly differently. You don't need to ask me every time you need to go take a piss. Just go. Understand? He's just trying to follow the rules, man. Or he probably is was used to like prison being, you yeah, know, I'm so sure, controlled, yeah, yeah, right? I'm sure. Hopefully you can find it. Because things must have changed over the years, so. That's true, but oak trees are old, man. That's true. As long as no one, you know. Said it was like what, like an obsidian rock? A giant rock? obsidian rock, yeah. That might be it. Come on. Okay, there's some money. Money, yeah. Saved. What is this letter, though? <laughs> Wait. Dear Red. No, he did it after. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I could use a good man to help me get my project on wheels. Remember, Red. Hope is a good thing. Maybe the best of things. And no good thing ever dies. Get busy living. Or get busy dying. Two choices. That's goddamn right. A role violation. Huh. Of course, I doubt they'll toss up in a room with blocks for that. Not for an old crook like me. I find I'm so excited I can barely sit still and hold a thought in my head. I think it's the excitement only a free man can feel. I hope to see my friend and shake his hand. I hope the Pacific is as blue as it has been in my dreams. Let's go! I mean, like, how long was he waiting? That was a good movie. That was interesting, yeah. That was... That was a really good movie. I liked that a lot. I mean, like, these movies are always longer, so it's not like... Like, it's hard to, to come home after, you know, work and watch a movie like this. So I get it. It's definitely one of those movies. Yeah. No, no, um, definitely. But when you do, it, it's it's awesome. Like... Yeah. I, I like that... It was kind of an interesting sort of, like, story about how, even though he kind of... You know, he was played a bad card in life, and he was forced to go through all these miserable things in prison yeah. for a long, long time. He still never kind of gave up hope, you know? I mean, I even think, and maybe I'm I'm going too much into this, I even think it's really not even, it's not about him as much as it's about Morgan Freeman, like Red. It is, though, yeah. And it's about, it's not as much about prison, even. Like, I thought that's what it was going to kind of be about, but I really feel like the whole idea of, like, get busy living or get busy dying is kind of profound in a way that has nothing to do with prison. Yeah. Um, and even kind of the idea of, like, you have this comfort and you want to stay where you're comfortable. Um, 
but but like you have an opportunity that like it it kind of makes you appreciate life i don't know i know that's like really trite but it no, does but like it really right. is it's like you have an opportunity that or you may have an opportunity whether it's freedom or whatever that other people don't so don't just stay where you're comfortable or or do things that like and not strike out just because you're scared like if you have that opportunity you i don't know you you almost owe it to yourself to try yeah i think it, i think it is something like that like i think that you know it it's almost like we we're seeing the development of red throughout the story mm-hmm. um you know thanks to uh, andy right yeah and it's almost like you're right because it kind of started off with um that prison scene and he was like kind of narrating it himself right yeah and so it's kind of like he's telling this story about when he was in prison and when he met this guy who kind of changed his life yeah that's cool i like that sort of that style well and also i i think that like the line that he said to the to the people the board that approved his release i think he meant that and i think in a way that's what this movie is like it is a it is a message to a younger self yeah like being like i wish i had done this when i did it and i didn't and i wish that i could go back in time and tell myself that which is really cool that's just like amazing and kind of beautiful and powerful no no it's a it's an awesome story because like to be honest i thought there was going to be a lot more of like kind of a commentary on on the prison system and crime and different things like that, which there was, but that wasn't the point. It's almost, I kind of liked that. Like it felt like there was a deeper point to it. Yeah. It was almost like a medium, right? Which I always like though in movies. Yeah. That's what I like. Like saving private Ryan is a war movie, but it's more because it, it, it's kind of the same thing of like live your life. And, And same with this. It's like, it's not, it is a prison movie, but it's also more. Yeah. And it has a really powerful message. And I think that's awesome. And I thought the twist, like, where he kind of uh, was, you know, set things up and, you know, how he escaped. Yeah, that was, was just a cool really, twist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really cool, you know. Yeah. And it kind of, it really does, you know, it kind of plays into his character of, like, you know, no, he's very perseverant, right? And we saw that with the letter and how he kind of treats everyday life with the library. Yeah. Right? And so he's, you know... He gets what he wants by through, you know, sh- through sheer effort, basically, and consistent, you know. I mean, I think work. it's the same with the warden, even. Like, I, I think that it, it's kind of like actions speak louder than words. And so with he, what he's doing, it's like, yes, even if he did kill these people, like, look at what he's doing now. And then the same with the warden, where it's like, you can have as many Bible quotes and, like, say you love God or whatever you're going to say as much as you want. But look at what he's doing. Yeah. Look at the kind of per- – or even with more immediately with Andy. Like, it's like, oh, we're friends until we're not. But look at what he was doing. Of course they're not friends. Of course – I'm not, like, calling out Andy to be like, dude, you should have known. But, like, it, it, it is kind of, to me, at least it speaks to that, where it's like, look at – show me. You can say all you want about everybody. But, like, show me show me yeah and even with red like you know i think he was just saying the words that he thought they wanted to hear yeah and i feel like him saying what he actually meant was as close as he could get to really demonstrating and being like look here's what i believe yeah he genuinely you know he wasn't talking about the rehabilitation stuff he was showing that he genuinely did regret what he did in the past yeah that's a good movie. I liked that movie. It's cool. I really like that. I, I like movies like that. That kind of has a, a... It makes you think. A little no, bit. yeah. They're definitely on the heavier side. So of course. You know what I'm saying, but... Yeah, I couldn't watch like eight of these in a day. But no. It, it, I like that it makes me think. Yeah, I do like that it is like there's another kind of like level to it. Well, because like I love movies, but at the same time, you really can turn into like a vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like watching a movie. And so it's nice when after that it's like you want to think and you want to have a conversation and it makes you kind of like step back for a second yeah. like, oh huh and i like that i think that's really cool same 
Um, so yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, like I said, we're doing polls every week for, for classic movies. We could go really any direction. We could go, you know, bogey, uh, Alfred Hitchcock sort of thing. We could go Scorsese. There's a lot of options. I'm trying to keep the polls pretty wide open. So um, if you want to go check that out, let us know what you guys want us to watch. Either way, thanks for joining us for this movie. This was a great movie. Thank you for everybody who voted for this. Um, the full-length reaction is up on Patreon. And then whatever you guys voted for next week, which is going to be this movie, that is also up on Patreon for you guys to check out. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining us. Thank you for supporting us, whether it's on Patreon or YouTube. All of you guys. You guys are great. We wouldn't be able to do this without any of you guys. So thank you for sticking around. Thanks for joining us. Uh, hope to see you guys again. Um, and if so, we'll see you guys in the next video.